After playing once human for a bit, I feel like the most important thing in the game is resources. Things like automatic parts and electronic parts are required for almost every recipe in the game, but you can never find enough of them. So I will give you a few tips that I picked up from my play to help you survive as a new player and even as a veteran. Hello everyone, welcome to the Sonier Gaming Channel and let's get straight into it. The first method is for new player. When you don't have enough firepower yet, you can go and scavenge abandoned vehicles on the side of the road. Yeah, you'll need to at least have a vehicle first and some decent amount of fuel to get started but those should naturally become available as you progress in the story. The trick is to scavenge car at the high level zone so that you can get high level parts that will convert to automatic parts, electronic parts, and even some high level plastics. This route that I am showing you in the video should give you some clue on where they are. Best thing about this method is that there is almost no battle involved, so you can scavenge with ease. There will be some wild animals sometimes, but you can just avoid them. After so many patches and updates, I am not sure if this is still relevant, but I believe if you switch world and redo your route, you can continue to collect the items if you don't have enough. The second method is for when you accumulated enough gears and can do decent damage to mob level 45 and above. There are two houses in this zone that you can scavenge quite a few high level resources, such as special plastics. There are a few mobs that you will have to kill, but the process is pretty simple and quick for a lot of high level resources. Just keep spamming Q to find all the storage cabinets that are filled with goodies. Bonus tip I have for you is that once you have enough electronic parts, metal scrap, and special parts, you can put your point into one of the memetic specialization to get a blueprint for the combo chipset. Each chip will sell to NPC for 12,000. So if you make enough to max out all the vendor NPC selling limits for that week, you should have plenty of energy links to spare. Since the process to get the blueprint is heavily dependent on the RNG of your memetic specialization, you may have to reset it a few times before you see it. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like and let me know what you think below. Please also subscribe to the channel. It would help us a lot. You can also check out our other videos in the channel for more helpful tips.